Last night I had dreamt that I was a muffler on a car. I woke up exhausted. Now for today, I want to talk about this show, rightedition.com. We have no corporate sponsors, no investors, nor do we want them. Government, we've never taken their money. We've actually had government people call us and say, we have grants available and subsidies and loans and a variety of financial packages for anyone in the movie business. And I said, I ain't in the movie business. I'm in the opinion business. And no thanks, hit the road, Jack. So, so we don't take money from anybody and we never have. And what does that mean? You know what? It, it means that I don't need your vote, so I don't have to lie to you. I don't need your money, so we're here to give our opinion, and if you take that much away from what I say, and it helps, you know what, then I win. Thank you very much, and thanks a lot for watching too, by the way. The only payment we do get are your comments, so keep them coming. We have a uh, chief public health officer in Canada, Dr. Teresa Tam, and recently she told all Canadians to stop kissing their partner and wear masks while you're having sex to avoid spread of the uh, uh, coronavirus. Who does that? Who, who talks like that to their people? These are, these are men and women that live together, they're married, and they got some quack telling you to not kiss and to not have sex unless you wear a mask? I mean, are you kidding me? I gotta repeat it because, you know, you just can't make this stuff up. I looked at it and I said, really, can that be true? And then I, I don't believe it. Ah, it's true, it's stupid, but it's true. Canada's chief public health officer. There's other words to describe her position. Who are these people that are trying to take control of our lives? Unfortunately, and very sadly, it seems to be taking hold. I mean, a lot of people probably are listening. Can you believe it? Ah, I, can't. I see people driving around in their cars by themselves wearing masks because it's this crazy woman told people to do that as well a while ago. Guys, girls, you have a mind. Use it. If it ain't working, take some WD-40 and squirt it into your mouth. Do something. I mean, Get it going. I mean, you know, you know, don't listen to everything. You jump off a bridge now? Boy, oh boy. You know, meanwhile, the Canadian experience has Canadians watching more United States cable news than, than what's available in Canada. You know, Canadians pay far more attention. According to these numbers, it's virtually all <laughs> of their attention to, to American politics. The Trump thing. Everybody in the world, I don't care if you're a baby and you're only two days old, everyone in the world has heard the name Trump, right? And, and Canadians are paying more attention to that. I guess that's kind of good because if you paid attention to what your leader was doing in your country, you'd probably go home and smother yourself with a pillow. <sighs> I wore a Trump hat recently when I was golfing make America great again. I was golfing in Edmonton, Canada at a golf course called River Ridge. Beautiful course. And, and many people, many people came up to me and said, I love your hat. I thought that was kind of nice, you know, because that was very positive. And you read about people that are getting major pushback where they wear a Trump hat. And there I am in Canada where so many people are saying, political people, Crooked press people, <laughs> our bad press people, are telling everybody, the masses, that everybody hates Trump. Not really. In America, you have had these massive Trump rallies on boats, uh, these boat parades, and, and they're underway in, in many places. Uh, every weekend, North Carolina, Minnesota, Missouri, Texas, you pick a place, California even, and, and tens and tens of thousands of them. So Trump is far from sunk, let me tell you. You know, but the Dems, the Democrats in America, they're not going to accept this thing anyway. They still haven't accepted that, that Trump won in the first place. Almost 70 million Americans voted him into office, and they can't accept that. They have tried everything to get rid of him, and will they accept the election results, the outcome of the election in November? Not a chance. I, I mean, there's bad things here on the horizon. There's going to be a revolution. I mean, if Trump loses, the right will kind of have a revolution, but it'll be minor because they're mostly good people, right? The left, they've got paid wax and professional crazy people in there doing bad stuff, and they can't accept it now. And, and as the election draws closer, they're more concerned about it, and they're pushing more, fighting more. I mean, look at all the demonstrations and so many things. I mean, the left is doing everything they can to undermine this presidency, and, and uh, I, I hope he wins. He needs to win. He must win with regard to, to capitalism in America and, and freedom, because all these bad people, the Democrats, they only want freedom if it, if it applies to them. 
Oscar. They should change the name of Oscar to, I don't know what, the Invisible Man, to Frank or somebody. And, and there needs to be some competition to the Oscar. I never watch the Oscars because to me they're just a bunch of, I don't know, left-wing people that, that, that use the stand to, to, you know, God put you on earth to entertain us. That's why you get paid so much, all of you actors. Don't, don't try to get political because, you know, uh, it's over your head, right? But, but, but uh, it's time for cancel culture, I think, and that's for us to cancel Hollywood. I've canceled them years ago because I don't pay attention to them. I certainly wouldn't watch their Oscar movies or anything, but now they're saying that, that we know better than anybody else and we have new, new and approved criteria that... that Almost 30%, I think it might even be more than 30%, of, of all actors have to be in, you know, unrepresented groups. They have to be, uh, represent homosexuals, people of color, women. You have to have a physical uh, disability. It's inclusion, right? And, and that's just not workable because a movie portrays something. Like if you, if you portray an event in World War II where a bunch of white guys were shooting at and killing a bunch of other white guys, now what? Now you have to put in 30% of people who aren't white and women and, and people that, that have, you know, in wheelchairs and things like that. That's not the real world. These, these people are just they're trying to rewrite everything in their image, I guess. It's just it's amazing to me. And, and uh, I got more, but I'm getting depressed now. Let me see. Well, I got a couple more before my depression really sets in. And this is racial prejudice. I mean, Hollywood touched on that. But, but let's swing back to Canada here now. And in, in, uh, in Alberta, you've got the Alberta government there, and they're broke. They have no money. There's, I think, 300 and some odd thousand Albertans about to work. What does the Alberta government do? They put uh, hundreds of millions of dollars into an Indian fund, a fund to, to benefit the Indian nations. And they just recently announced that $93 million uh, was spent by six Alberta First Nation bands to buy a natural gas plant. I mean, that's what we really need, is the Indians controlling more. I mean, right now, they have to sign off at almost everything that you do in a country that they represent full-blood Indians, 1% of the entire population. And then you swing over to Ottawa and, and more racial prejudice, and the federal government says black Canadians now will get a $53 million fund to help them in business so they can borrow money and go out and be in business. None of you white folk, you're not allowed. And then there's another $6.5 million to collect data. Uh, data, data, tomato, tomato for black entrepreneurs to identify the barriers that prevent black Canadians from succeeding in business, right? Wow. Um, I hate the bigots. Everybody should be treated the same. Color shouldn't matter. Y'all come back. See ya.